Hi guys, my name is Paul Lambert, I'm Field Technical Support for Hambleside Danelaw. I'd like to welcome you today to the Hambleside Danelaw Training Centre. We're here to introduce you to a new product we've just brought to the market called the Inverge. It's a plain tile interlocking dry verge system, styled to match other systems that we have on the market for other tiles. There's a very narrow edge to the top of the verge unit which retains the traditional appearance of a plain tile roof. Before we begin installing the verge, I'd just like to point out that the underlay is cut in line with the end of the batten. We start off by installing the galvanised eaves bracket. Put it into place. Once it's in place, screw into the batten. There is a little lip on the top so that makes sure that you don't connect it too far down the button. Then screw the second screw into place. Just one thing to note, that the height of the fascia should be set in accordance with the toll manufacturer's instructions. This is also dependent on the pitch of the roof. These blades fit in between the tiles. This is to prevent wind lift of the tile. What we want to do, to start off with the eaves bracket, cut that section away from one bracket. The slit in the blade connection of the inverge needs to connect with the eaves bracket. You put the bottom blade underneath the bottom tile, then slide into place making sure you get a nice connection. Once the inverge unit's in place, you can see that the groove lines up with the underneath of the tile. It then needs to be fixed into place into the end of the button. As you can see, we're using our own button end clips which are galvanised. You can nail that into place, but it, we do realise that it is accepted by the industry that you can use a screw. For this purpose, I'm going to use a small screw because I need to get these off and on my display unit. On the bottom blade, there's a slot going all the way along. That needs to connect with the groove of the first verge that we've put on. Once that's in, you slide it down into place. Once that verge is in place, same again, screw, making sure the connection's nice and tight. Then we do exactly the same with the third verge, making sure that that blade's connection fits into the groove, in between the tiles, and slid into place. Finish it off by screwing that last verge into place. Then if you're on a building site, you'd follow that all the way up to the ridge. We've just done the concrete, now I'm going to show you exactly the same on the clay. When we install the clay, as you can see, there's a size difference between the concrete and the clay tile. These will vary dependent upon the tile manufacturer. Also, the nibs are in a slightly different place. What we've got to do with the clay is the first button uh, we need to change from a 38 to a 50 millimetre button. When we put the starter bracket on, we need to bend the top up. When we install the starter bracket onto that bottom 50 millimetre button, what we're trying to do is get it 20 millimetres down the button. What I'm going to do on this one is nail it into place. What we're going to do for the clay is exactly the same as what we did for the start of the concrete. We're going to snap this section off. And then with the starter bracket, the eaves bracket, what we're trying to do is get that connection. We're now ready to fit that in place, making sure the bottom blade fits underneath the bottom tile. Once in place, slot down. Nice and flush fit. Once that's in place, make sure you, you secure it into place into the end of the button. As you can see, the groove's nicely in line underneath the next tile again. Then we go with the next inverge unit, making sure that the blade fits into the groove again. 
and slot it down into place. And once that's in place, fix the unit. Then we go on to the next one, making sure the blade again fits into the groove again. And slot down into place. Just going to screw that into place. Carry on again all the way up to the ridge system. This is our in branch rig. If you'd like me to come to your branch, do a demonstration on all the plain tile products that we do, including the new verge system, we'd be happy to do so. Also, if you'd like any more information on the products, please either contact the office or visit our website. I'd like to finish off by saying thank you very much for listening and have a good day.